feeling safe. It is both a relational and an embodied experience that is difficult to describe but can be accessed through the felt sense. In this moment right now, notice. What are your senses drawn to? Where do your eyes want to look? What sounds capture your attention? What do you notice through touch? What supports you to be present in this moment? What changes in your attention, your breathing, posture and internal sensations? What happens inside when you take in your surroundings and the felt sense of the other? What do you feel attracted to, comfortable with, or the need to move away from? How is it for them? As you notice their system or state, what happens in your own response? And in turn, what happens in theirs? Relationships with other people and non-human animals are similar in many ways. Differences aside, we are all mammals, and mammals have a nervous system that regulates arousal, a body that responds to and co-regulates with others' states, and an innate drive towards connection. When early experiences of danger, life threat, or relational ruptures interrupt development, the neural template shifts to focus on survival. It is harder to regulate oneself, to trust, and find security in relationships, and the window of tolerance narrows. When it is not possible to fight or flee, fawn or appeasement behaviors as well as shutdown states of immobility become the only possibilities along with other management strategies or captivity behaviors that hint at the underlying distress. In humans, we'll call it trauma, addictions, obsessive-compulsive behaviors, and so on. In other animals, the same things occur, only we call them by different names that often minimize what is really going on. Traumatic reenactments and misunderstandings between people and animals are common when these unresolved dynamics play out, as each tries to find safety and calm. Human trauma therapies that focus on somatic intelligence and secure attachment are based on animal models and research. It is time to bring that knowledge back around full circle to look at human-animal interactions, interspecies neuroscience, and animal welfare. This includes the field of animal and equine-assisted therapy and learning, and what I call trauma-informed horsemanship. Our relationships with animals have a lot to teach us about our relationships with people and ourselves, and vice versa. Somatic intelligence is not exclusive to humans. A trauma lens and the principles of safety, consent, choice, voice, empowerment, agency, trust, collaboration and compassion apply to embodied connection in all its forms.